Hello, and welcome to STAT 1, Elementary Statistics for the Social Sciences. My name is Brian Gendron, and I will be the instructor this semester. This course is taught exclusively online using Canvas, which is our learning management system. Canvas can be accessed through ilearn.lacd.edu. And uh, this course is uh, five weeks long, taught in summer session A at Pierce College in summer 2018. So I'm looking forward to working with you this semester. Uh, STAT 1 is, it's an excellent course in terms of learning about the basic analyses that are used in social sciences, which uh, include many fields, uh, things like psychology, uh, sociology, economics, anthropology, and many, many other fields. Uh, personally, I'm a psychologist, and I use uh, the statistical analyses that we cover in this class uh, in my own research. And uh, they have be uh, these tools have been you know, invaluable to me. However, I will say that uh, if you're somebody who is not planning on pursuing a degree or a career in social sciences, that's okay. This class is still important because these statistics are applied in many different fields. Um, so off the top of my head, sports and business, two very different applications, but uh, the analyses we learn about in this class could, could apply to both. And um, furthermore, or I should say at the very least, this class will help you become a better consumer of statistics. We are uh, bombarded by statistical information every day of our lives. And um, some of it is really straightforward, but some of it is complex. And therefore, being a better um, critical thinker and somebody who is better at understanding how statistics are derived and what they actually mean is going to... Um, certainly be an asset to anybody. Uh, in this uh, excuse me, in this video, I want to um, well first and foremost welcome you again and then just cover some basic preliminary information about course requirements and expectations this semester. So at the very top of this syllabus, you have my contact information. and uh, below that is uh, the textbook information. We are using um, the eighth edition of this uh, Essentials of Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences book by Graviter and Walnu. This is the eighth edition. Um, you can probably get by just fine with the seventh edition. Uh, I understand that that will help you save some cost. However, um, any earlier than that, you probably want to avoid because um, even the eighth edition has um, certain issues that um, will probably be fixed for the next edition. So um, for me, I look at it as sort of a, a cost-benefit analysis. I don't want to put too much cost onto the student, but um, this is an important textbook to own. And um, considering that it was published in 2013, I feel confident that you can find a reasonably priced used copy. And... Um, Furthermore, you can also access this textbook for free at Pierce College Library for uh, two hours at a time if uh, that is something that um, you know, is interesting to you. So please go to the library and ask them for this book. All right, besides the textbook, there are some other important materials you will need this semester. And so the first um, is that uh, for examinations in this course, the exams are proctored online using Canvas, and uh, within Canvas, there's an application called Proctorio. Proctorio essentially um, records you during the exam. Now, nobody's watching you, but it does, um, it does take note of suspicious behaviors. So, for example, if somebody else came and sat next to you during the exam and started to help you, this would be um, this would be noticed by Proctorio, and I would receive a message. So 
I know that most people, um, you know, are you know, high on academic integrity. They would never cheat on an exam. However, it is a precaution that we do need to take with the online format. So with that said, for exams, you need the following materials. So the first is a picture ID. So if you have your Pierce ID, that's perfect. Um, a basic calculator, uh, a computer with a webcam, and Chrome internet browser. And so if you do not have access to a computer with a webcam or Chrome, you can go to the library at Pierce and check out a tablet for free, no charge, and uh, this tablet will have the technology that is sufficient to, um, to complete the examinations in this course. Now, I'm going to skip down to something related to this uh, information, and that is that um, there's going to be a practice exam that is mandatory for all students, and this practice exam must be completed by Wednesday, June 13th at midnight. Um, the reason I want you to do this is that you have to make sure that all of these technical issues are, um, you know, are, are okay before you actually take the real exams. Because when it's time to take the real exams and the quizzes, I don't want you to have to worry about technology. I want you to focus on the material. And so if you do not take the practice exam by the deadline, you will be automatically dropped from the course and your space will be filled with somebody from the waitlist. So there are a bunch of eager students who want to be in this class. Do not give them your spot simply because you failed to do this test. So do the practice, do the practice exam by Wednesday, June 13th. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. All right, so there's a bunch of details on this uh, syllabus that you are highly encouraged to read on your own. And I just want to cover some of the most important takeaways. So here we have the student learning outcomes. Essentially, it says that we're covering a broad array of statistical analyses this semester, and we're going to learn how to um, apply them and interpret them. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, evaluation procedures. So where does your grade come from this semester? We have a mix of uh, assessments and assignments, and that's what's listed here. The course is out of a thousand points. So we have a midterm exam and a final exam, and then three quizzes. And the schedule of all of that information can be found at the very last page on the course outline, and we'll cover that in detail in a moment. But um, essentially, all of the exams and the quizzes are uh, um, multiple choice questions that are either related to concepts in the material or computations. So for the computations, you'll actually be going through calculations, you'll be doing the actual math involved, or um, you know, you'll actually be solving problems. And then for the conceptual problems, it's related to um, your understanding of the material, not just the process, but why you're doing things. All right, um, aside from the assessments, there are about five assignments. Two of the assignments I'm calling big assignments. Um, they're worth 50 points each, and they're going to have you sort of synthesize a few different topics together, whereas the small assignments are small, and they're much more uh, focused on individual topics as opposed to overarching themes. So you actually have um, your first small assignment during week one, and that's um, available to you on Canvas um, starting Monday at 6 a.m. So we have five weeks this semester, and each week the course material is unlocked Monday morning at 6 a.m., and you have until Sunday night at 11.59 to complete everything. And then the next Monday at 6 a.m., the next week's material is opened up for you. So we're working on a week-by-week -week basis, and this basically allows us to stay on the same track together so that we're all working relatively at the same pace. However, within that one week, you have the opportunity to be flexible and um, you know, work on the information that you deem most important or uh, whatever your schedule allows for. 
All right, there's a bunch of standard information on this syllabus, just about Pierce College and um, resources that are available to you. At the bottom of page four, you have some standard dates in terms of when you can drop the class or when you can submit an audit card, various things like that. But the final page is our course outline. This is uh, subject to change. However, given the short duration of this semester, it's most likely going to look very similar to this. And so if we take a look at what's going on here, we'll essentially be covering a, an average of three chapters a week. And uh, there are some exceptions to that. Like for example, in week three, we cover four chapters. Yet in week four, we only cover two chapters. But what I'm trying to get at is we move at a fairly rapid pace. And that's simply the nature of this accelerated five-week semester. So it is, um, it is going to be somewhat demanding. If you've never taken a course in five weeks, I think that um, you, know, you should prepare to really um, you know, focus hard and, uh, and, and work um, at, a, at, a, at a, I would say, a higher pace than you might be required to in a typical 15-week semester. Um, let's see. So, weeks, uh, or excuse me, week one um, covers chapters one through three. And if you don't have your textbook yet, that's probably okay because a lot of it is some fairly preliminary information, some basic information. But as soon as we get to week two, it is probably critical to have your textbook. And what I always say is that in online classes, your textbook becomes even more important than it does in a traditional face-to-face -face class. So one thing to note, and you might be aware of this, is that online classes, on average, have lower success rates for students compared to face-to-face -face classes. And you know why is that? Well, probably for a number of reasons. But one of the reasons, for sure, is that in an online class, you don't have direct communication between student and instructor. Instead, we have an asynchronous light, uh, level of communication. So we communicate indirectly. There are times when you can um, contact me directly. So for example, I have office hours online and you can, you know, we can chat together or I'll be using the conference function and we can actually have a web conference and we can see each other. But most of the time, we're communicating through email or through um, the discussion forums, and that makes it difficult. So your textbook is the best resource I could possibly recommend to you. And I really do like our textbook. The authors go through um, concepts in a very clear and step-by-step -step manner that I try to emulate in my own lectures. So I certainly... Um, cannot emphasize enough how important it is to read this textbook. And you have to read it quickly because we have about three chapters a week. So make sure you are dedicating time to studying and reading the material. And I know that sounds pretty obvious, but I really want to encourage you because it will pay off. And the last thing I want to mention about this is that course material in statistics tends to be... Um, um, sort of built upon earlier material. So for example, uh, chapters three and four build upon information from chapters one and two. Chapters five and six build upon earlier information and so on and so forth. So it's important to sort of um, build a foundation. Don't get, don't get left behind in the beginning weeks of this class because it's probably impossible. Maybe not impossible, but quite difficult to catch up. Again, um, let me give you an example. So the, the information we learn about in chapters three and four is going to come up in every single chapter from that point forward. And so the idea is that earlier information sets the foundation for later information. But rest assured, I am here to help you. And uh, I'm, an, you know, I'm an advocate for you. I want to... Um, want to be here as much as possible to answer your questions and help you look at questions in a different way. And um, if our schedules don't coincide here and there, one additional resource is the Tutoring Center at Pierce College. 
you have free tutoring available to you as a statistics student at Pierce. And we will also have a, um, an, an individual who will be working specifically with our class as a tutor. And when I, when I receive more information about the tutor's schedule, I will pass that on to you. All right. So um, without further ado, that is some basic information about statistics, uh, stat one. Please read the syllabus in detail. And uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. And I hope you um, have a great semester. Thank you.